Hey, how are you doing? Welcome or welcome back. And uh, today we're gonna talk about different shapes of the bottles of wine and do they indicate you anything? Uh, what's the difference? And uh, are they indicate you any quality of wine or particular style of wine? All right, so if you're interested, please welcome Father. Okay, so my name is Pablo Pasca, that's my wine channel, if you've been here before so you saw different decoration, I hope you like this one, uh, full of wine, and as you can see plenty of different shapes, for real you can find the most funky shapes uh, for bottles of wine that you can get out there, but actually the most common are around 12, the, the one that you're gonna see almost everywhere, that's six of them and the one that you saw for sure that's gonna be three shapes that you for sure show so somewhere and let's start from the two most important so or the most two most common so Bordeaux and Burgundy we've got Saint-Emilion, Bordeaux and Burgundy generic appellation uh, two different shapes for sure you saw somewhere um, and what do they indicate basically uh, the shapes are different because the way how they were producing in those regions was that was the easiest way for the for them to do the bottle and that's why the shape is like this. Uh, another thing, uh, when you after producing the wine you got lots of bottles of wine and then you need to storage them to use as less space as possible. So those shapes uh, help to store them laying down like this and then bottle over bottle and you make a wall basically so that will be also the shape of the bottle why why is this way another thing that's the most common border shape the secondary use of this uh, shape of the bottle because border wines they age very well they often are aged for long and after that they produce lots of sediment so they're the, the little little pieces that you can see at the end of the bottle of wine and basically those uh, those you don't want in your glass or you don't want in your decanter so while you're pouring the wine to the decanter or to your glass this part acts like a trap for all the sediment so some of the sediment you can capture over here much easier than in other bottles that's basically why this shape burgundy bottles so burgundy bottles this shape straight and then very smoothly goes to the neck. So in Burgundy you produce mainly Pinot Noir and uh, Chardonnay. And in Pinot Noir doesn't create much of sediment or if actually at all. So you don't need this uh, sides. The bottle stores very well as well. And that was basically the easy traditional uh, way of producing bottles of wine when they start to produce them so that's why it was kept and because France is huge uh, wine producer and influence on wine uh, for ages so those bottles are kept and for the traditional reason they used uh, in different parts of the world another bottle that you for sure met somewhere so it's champagne bottle so champagne bottle can be more bubbly or not the shape is maybe not that important but the way how it's built it's much heavier the glass is much thicker and the reason for that is because of the pressure the gas in uh, champagne or any sparkling wine for in this case uh, the pressure usually is gonna be uh, three to four times uh, the pressure that you can find in your tier tires uh, in your car so uh, basically it explodes the bottle that's uh, one of the theories how uh, how they discover champagne uh, so basically to prevent the bottle from exploding and you know wasting all the wine uh, the bottle is going to be much thicker and uh, much uh, heavier and also the, 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 the cork the funky one that looks like a mushroom 
needs to be installed a little bit different so you got uh, this part a little bit thicker and the neck looks uh, slightly different but that's the main reason for the different shape all right one bottle that you can find very often as well looks quite different so that's Riesling muzzle German style uh, bottle of wine so a little bit thinner and goes to the neck a little bit is much longer in general and uh, much thinner in general that's traditional shape for wines from Mosul in Germany uh, because of that mostly Riesling the main reason is uh, traditional here okay another type of bottle that you can see very often uh, is port or bottles from Porto uh, looks similar to the bottles from uh, Bordeaux but then you got a little bit thicker uh, neck that is little bulb on the neck probably see that but you can see that better right now the same idea as with Bordeaux wines because those wines are usually aged for longer or they uh, introduce much more sediment you want to keep the sediment in the bottle so this part and this part acts like a trap for the sediment okay so now do the shape of the bottle indicate you anything quality of wine not at all doesn't indicate any quality uh, what can indicate it's uh, style of wine that is uh, made so might be that the producer of wine uh, tried to communicate to you that his wine is going to be a little bit more in a style of Bordeaux wine or more burgundy style of wine uh, heavier or lighter so for example we've got here a Priorat and then uh, the bottle is more shaped as a Bordeaux wine so might be that the producer tried to indicate that this wine is going to be uh, similar in style to Bordeaux wine so a little bit heavier a little bit more structure uh, more concentration uh, higher tannins we got another Priora where is another Priora oh here or oh, we've got another Priora which is in Burgundy style of bottle and uh, in this case might be that the producer try to indicate us uh, that this style of wine is going to be more similar to burgundy so lighter more fruity uh, maybe lighter tannins uh, maybe more easy drinking that would be the idea but not necessarily in this wine especially not in this one for example you got two riojas one and another one and uh, basically we have to try them the bottle doesn't indicate nothing over here that could be an idea but not necessarily it's like with humans you don't uh, judge the book by the cover so uh, the same with the bottles but of course it can indicate you an idea of what is going to be the wine so for example like if we go for the german riesling Mosul style, style of uh, bottle could indicate you that if the wine is made in maybe different country or different grape variety but is in a style of reasoning it's more on the fruity side it's more floral it's going to be good good acidity that's what could be an idea it might indicate you a uh, certain sweetness in the wine so basically because of the Rieslings uh, there's a lot of sweet style of Rieslings which are very famous so like in this example we've got Bisho Gosho that's uh, actually sweet cider so not wine well, depends where you live so sweet style of beverage in a bottle shaped and similar to Berenons Leze or Trocken Berenons Leze very similar style of bottle so that could indicate you that this is sweet wine just by just by looking at the bottle right the most important just try the wine or talk to the person who sells you the wine so I hope I uh, answer any question you had if you have some more questions please leave a comment I'm going to answer for sure and uh, hope you like it if yes like subscribe and uh, leave me a comment see you to the next one
drink your wine and enjoy your wine, doesn't matter of the shape of the bottle. See you, have a nice day, bye.